Hey, Steve Sullivan here, training supervisor for Rotol North America. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put sidewalls on your TS8 industrial cabinet. I've taken the mounting panel out just to give me a little more room to work. Also, you will not gasket the frame when you put sidewalls on because the sidewalls already are supplied with foamed in place gasket on both of them. In addition to the two sidewalls, that are sold as a pair. I've got my instructions that come with a cabinet. I've got 12 sidewall brackets, four hangers. I've got 12 hex head screws that I can either use a T25 Torx bit with or you could use a nut driver with an 8mm socket on the end for those screws or you've got 12 uh, T30s flat heads. So I'm going to show you the application for each of those different screws, but you provided both of those in case you need them. So on my TS8 vertical profile, there's seven hole locations regardless of the height of the cabinet. Four of those positions are going to be consumed by door hardware or rear wall hardware. That leaves me with three open spots. That's where my sidewall brackets are going to go. Now, I have full access to this with my door open. If you notice the rear wall, the panel is going to stay on there, yet I'm still going to show you a way to do this. So within the, the um, bracket itself, you see a large through hole and then a smaller tapped hole. So if I can access this, to me it's easier just to take my T30, hold this up to the outside, and put my bracket on and make sure that the teeth are facing outward toward the panel because that's what's going to provide the bond from the panel back to the frame so I don't have to use ground straps. So I have two options here at the rear of the cabinet. I could remove my rear wall and then put the sidewall brackets on in the same way that I did them on the front from the outside in or I can actually slip the bracket in behind the panel and go from inside the frame into the bracket and that's what the smaller tap tool is for. And I've got my sidewall bracket on without taking off the rear wall. Now you'll notice along the top edge of the cabinet, right next to the roof, is a flange trough collar. This is also used to place the hangers that come in the hardware bag for the panel. And so if they go on smoothly, great. If they don't and you want to tap them down, you can give it a little tap with the mallet. This is where you hang the panel. Sometimes people look at this and intuitively think they hang the panel on this lip. If you do that and you do not use the hangers, all the holes will be off about three to five millimeters. So use the hangers. This makes it a one person job to hang the panel and then you can walk away and get your fasteners. To hang your panel, you want to come in at a slight angle to the enclosure, get it close and then look to the holes. And if you need to slide this to the right or the left to line up the hole patterns, it's easily done. And then right there you've got the panel holding itself to the cabinet while you can go get your fastener and your cordless screwdriver. So next I'm just going to take my T30 and my Torx 30 screws and put the sidewall on. A little trick of the trade, some of the holes line up right away. Other ones, if they don't look like they do, start putting the fasteners and all the holes that directly line up. It'll pull the panel into alignment. You won't have any problem.
Now just repeat for the other side and you're done.